Rome. We are live here at one of the most famous hotels in the world. We're live at the Waldorf Astoria. And on the top table, we have some of the best names, the biggest names in the world, from the world of purebred Arabian racing. Because this is the start of five days where we'll be talking everything about the best horses in the world, how we can make them even better, how we can train them better, how the jockeys can improve. And also today, we're going to be picking the runners and riders and the draw for the two purebred Arabian races that we have live at the Capanel for you on Sunday. This is Tomo. We're live. Let's say hello to everybody who's here today. Ladies and gentlemen, are we in a good mood today? Yeah. Come on, let's go for it. It is wonderful. They have come from all over the world, 450 delegates. And the man who's going to say welcome to Rome is, and I'm pleased to say, our ambassador who is here today, His Excellency, and can we give him a big round of applause because this is his country, this is his city. He's come from the UAE to welcome us here today. His Excellency Saga al Raisi, sir. السلام عليكم بونجورنو فور فيربادي اصحاب المعالي اصحاب السعاده الساده ممثلي الحكومه الايطاليه الموقرين السيدات والساده الضيوف الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته يسرني ان اتقدم اليكم بجزيل الشكر والامتنان لمشاركتكم الكريمه لنا في مهرجان ومؤتمر الشيخ منصور بن زايد ال نهيان نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء وزير شؤون الرعاسة حفظه الله ومنذ أن وجه سموه بإقامة المؤتمر العالمي لخيول السباق لعام 2016 والعمل يجري هنا على قدم وساق للاستعداد لهذا الحدث العالمي في الجمهورية الإيطالية وتحديدا في روما أن الأجهزة العاملة في سباق الخيول الإيطالية والدوائر الحكومية المعنية ووزارة الزراعة وكل المنظمات والهيئات قدمت تعاونها ونسقت معنا مشكورة لإنجاح هذه الفعالية لتبقى في الذاكرة حية كل هذا لم يكن يتحقق لولا الرؤية الثاقبة للقيادة الحكيمة لدولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة التي أرادت الحفاظ على الخيول العربية الأصيلة والتعريف بها عالمياً لذلك فأنه من دواعي سرورنا أن أتقدم بالشكر الجزير إلى سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد آن الهيان نائب رئيس الوزراء وزير شؤون الرئاسة على منحنا هذا الشرف لكي نلعب دورا في هذا المؤتمر العالمي لسباق الخيول العربية هنا في إيطاليا ونود أن نتقدم بالشكر والامتنان لسمو الشيخ فاطمة بن تنبارك أم الإمارات حفظها الله رئيس رئيسة الاتحاد النسائي العام الرئيس الأعلى المؤسسة التنمية الأسرية ورئيسة مجلس الأمومة حفظه الله على دورها الكبير في هذا المهرجان لدعم المرأة في كافة الميادين عامة والرياضة خاصة أيها الحفل الكريم لقد وضع هذا المهرجان معايير عالية في الدورات الستة السابقة للمؤتمر العالمي للخيول العربية الأصيلة وإننا نأمل أن يكون هذا الحدث تجربة مفيدة وفريدة تبقى مخلدة في الذاكرة لجميع المشاركين وفي الختام نرحب بكم ونتمنى لكم إقامة طيبة في ربوع هذه المدينة الساحرة روما متمنين لكم التوفيق والنجاح شكرا Thank you Sir, thank you very much indeed and it's a great honor to be here and I know you've been looking forward to this this week for a very, very long time. And the lady, of course, who's organized all this and managed to bring incredibly all of us here, and by the way, thanks to Emirates as always, please give a big round of applause to Miss Lara Sawyer. <laughs> I was speaking in English. <laughs> so we balance. Thank you, Your Excellencies. We want to thank His Excellency Major General Ahmad al Raisi for coming and sharing this press, uh, press conference today. And of course, our UAE Ambassador to London now, His Excellency, my friend, Sulaiman al-Mazru'i, who was 
ambassador to Belgium before. So please, can we give them a big kind of applause? Please stand up, sir. Please stand up. His Excellency arrived yesterday just to uh, support us. Thank you, Your, uh, Your Excellency, from all of us, because uh, we know your precious time, and we thank you all for coming and being here with everybody coming from six continents and, of course, from 81 countries. Thanks to His Excellency, Sa'ra Raisi, who has given us the greatest support in Rome. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the embassy, thank you. UAE Embassy of uh, United Arab Emirates in Italy has supported us. The embassy in Rome has done everything that they can to facilitate every single event that will take place here in Rome. And I would like also to thank Her Excellency, uh, Ambassador of Spain, who also uh, supported the Vatican event tonight. So thanks also to Dr. Hissa Lateba. You will see uh, on the big event on Pincho. Pincho is a great park because of the power of His Excellency Sa'ra Raisi. We need to thank you for closing the park for all of you. This will be the gala dinner. We need to thank every single jockey who arrived here in Rome to participate in two world championships, the Ladies World Championship, and of course, the Apprentice World Championship in the name of the mother of the world, Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak. Mother of the world, Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak has supported many jockeys of the world and many ladies. During this conference, there will be a panel which is dedicated to Her Highness, and it's the ladies' panel. Ladies and Racing is a great panel which will host darling winners of Her Highness Sheikh Fatma bint Mubarak in Hollywood 2016. And of course, a very nice lady who is a great support to us, Munir Al Marzoue. Thank you, Munira, for accepting to be part of this Ladies in Racing. She's a very dynamic UAE lady. And of course, you will get to meet her on the panel on, uh, on the 27th. So thank you, Munira, and all the other ladies sharing, and of course, all breeders. Now, we have to announce something small, which is new, and I think it will help us more to expand. Thanks to Khaled Khalifa Nabuda. <laughs> Al Awir Stables is now sponsored for His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan from today. And as you can see, the logo is there. Thanks to him and thanks to all the other breeders that came for us today, all trainers, all owners all breeders, all jockeys, every journalist, every person who loves Arabian racing. Thank you. Brilliant. Well done. Now, let's move along because let's, we're trying to sort of work out. They're, they're all tops on the top table. So let's go to Dr. Abdullah Reyes, who is one of the top guys who welcomes us to Abu Dhabi. And it's great to have you, sir, here in Rome. Thank you, Tomo. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, buongiorno. Tutto bien. First of all, uh, I'm very delighted to speak to this very auspicious and uh, uh, very joyful group of people here. They're all pumped up for the big uh, event here the conference and the race later on. This has not been done without unlimited and extraordinary support 
uh, by His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Presidential Affairs, my boss and our boss. Thank you. Thank you. Also, thanks goes, my special thanks goes to Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak for her unlimited support of Arabian horses, for the uh, sport of women and women's sport in UAE, not only sport, also for her support of women in general in all fields. Today we have more than five ministers in the cabinet of United Arab Emirates, and we have the youngest minister, 23 years old, as the minister of youth. So UAE has been doing great in, the, in different fields, and uh, today we have also the Minister of Tolerance, and today we are going to Vatican to show how tolerant is the UAE and UAE people. <laughs> we are only 10% of the total population of UAE, and 90% are foreigners, but still, it's a very peaceful country, everybody living together in a peaceful and harmony. I would like also to thank one special lady. She's not only dynamic, but she's dynamite. <laughs> Who's this? L Lara Sawaya. <laughs> hey. For making, uh, for the, her arrangements, not only for this event which we have nearly 600 people gathered here. But knowing her since many years now, and working closely with her, she is the one who pulls all the strings. And she is in charge of every single detail of this conference and all the other events that we organize together. It's not easy to organize such an event in a short span of time, despite her travels in more than 70 countries around the world, more than 100 events around the world. Believe me, it's not a, an easy task to do, because I myself have been going through these many years for more than 35 years in sports activities, but to do such a, a marvelous job in a very short time, like what you see today, today is the beginning, and in the next five days, we will see many things with many dinner and arrangements. Arrangements a new thing to do in Vatican, which is very sacred place, and not many will get a chance not even to enter that place. But now you all will be going there to see everything and to celebrate the peace and harmony when we have the distorted world, when we have the world forgot about peace and it's full of war. So today we are sending a message to the rest of the world that we are here to seek peace. We are here from all religions. We are going to Vatican to make a statement that we need peace. We don't need war. The world is full of war. We don't need it. We need peace. And through Arabian horses, we are sending this message from here. Thank you. If you allow me, I will talk until tomorrow morning because I'm a lecturer, but I will, I will make it short, and I will say thank you to everyone here participating in this event and uh, attending this conference today. And I wish all the trainers, all the owners, all the jockeys best of luck and continued success. Before I end this, there is a special thanks for my brother, His Excellency Sakra Raisi, our ambassador to Italy and his team for making all the arrangements to make, us, uh, to make our stay comfortable, joyful, and smooth. Uh, I have seen in many events their work and their professional work. They are very professional in their work, and His Excellency is following up every single detail as well, too. Thank you, Your Excellency, and uh, thanks all the delegates and every participant here and I look forward to seeing all of you uh, in the next uh, few days, five days here. And above all, Italy is the place for good food and fashion. 
So right. please eat well, <laughs> dress well, oh. <laughs> and sleep well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Food and passion. We like that. <laughs> Laura? Tom, I would like uh, to welcome also uh, the, His Excellency, the Prince Abdurrahman's Dairy, uh, coming from Saudi Arabia uh, to be also there. And I apologize, Your Excellency, Slaimel Mazrui, because we all love you here, and we cannot, without going London now and Belgica, we love you very much. <laughs> You're a star. Thank you, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now, we're moving on this way. This guy on Lara's right is one of the most famous horsemen in the Middle East, Musalam al-Amri. And just to say, there's no need to get too close to the microphone, otherwise it pop, pop, pop. So just get back a little bit. Just, all right. Sir, over to you. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اتمنى التوفيق لجميع المشاركين في المؤتمر العالمي وشكرا Was that it? <laughs> that was the best speech I've heard today. That was lovely. Ah, I love all that. Now this guy uh, the, we, we've now I think got a horse named after him because over the years we've always said where's Sammy? Do you remember? Well, I think we've got a horse because he is the chairman of the International Federation of Arabian Horse Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Sami al -Bawainin. Thank you very much, Tomo. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you very much and good morning to you. Thank you for being here and traveling long distance. Um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, United Arab Emirates for the generous support and invitation for everybody uh, and for especially for us as IFAR, the International Federation of Arab Horse Racing Authorities. Um, also the support for the subcommittees of the International Federation. We start this morning with the registrar meeting and then we'll continue with the, also the panels, the, the expertise and also we're going to go to the uh, pattern race committee meeting and also the executive board member of IFAR, uh, United Arab Emirates and His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, they will, uh, they was very and still they are very supportive of IFAR and uh, IFAR country uh, members too because uh, a lot of racing being sponsored by uh, the festival of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan and this gives a lot of uh, progress and a lot of development in the world for the Arabian horses. And I also would like to thank uh, His Excellency, uh, Mr. Sagar uh, Araisi, the, the, uh, the ambassador of United Arab Emirates here in Rome, for all the support. And I, I know it's been a lot of work for him uh, for the last couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months to organize a beautiful conference uh, here in Rome. And I don't want to forget uh, the golden heart lady, Lara Sawaya. She's been there since the day one of this uh, festival and this uh, also conference. We start this conference in Abu Dhabi together. Yes, and, and move around the world, then move to Netherlands, The Hague, and to other countries. And I believe in the first day of that conference, we had a question from the journalist, which are lovely guys, they are here around. They keep saying, like, what the results is going to come out of this? And do you think there is any progress? I think uh, that was very early to ask that question. But anyway, we answer uh, because I can see uh, there is going to be progress in the, in the world and, and this conference. And it's beautiful and it's been huge and a lot of people are around and it gives a lot of benefit to Arabian horses and we are well known now as IFAR because of the, uh, the, the, the conference of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan and uh, United Arab Emirates for the support. And thank you very much. Thank you for being here with us and thank you. Thanks, Sammy. I must just say, it's amazing. I went to the back and just looking up at this incredible top row, but 
the top row is looking down at you guys as well. It's amazing to see so many people and so many top people from a it's an incredible sight from where you're sitting, isn't it? Down here. It's amazing. Yes, today it's uh, more than 300 people in the lounge today. Uh, we amazing. have 500 guests, four hotels, and uh, the biggest event ever has been done, not even for photo bread racing. It's true, absolutely. And where would we be without our sponsors? That's the yes. thing. Let's please uh, welcome. He's the associate partner uh, associate of partner. the festival. Yes. And uh, before he starts, Edward, we would like, as uh, His Highness Sheikh Mansour Festival, to also thank them yes. for sponsoring the conference itself. They are the sponsor, if you can see, of the conference of Italia 2016. Thanks to National Feed and Flower Production and Marketing for their support. And they always supported also Hollywood, which was also yes. their sponsorship for particularly also Hollywood, just to support uh, the festival and to have as much people we can to bring them from around the world and be there to share with us the events that we go through the Arabian racing. I think we should give Edouard a big round of applause. Come on. Thank you, Edouard. Over to you. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, um, on behalf of National Feed and Flower from Abu Dhabi, I would like to thank you all for being able to join us here at such a wonderful event. Um, I've said it in Hollywood, and I repeat it all the time. It's actually an honor and a privilege to be associated with such a great event, such a great festival, under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan and Her Highness Sheikh Fatima bin Mubarak Al Nahyan. We try at National Feed and Flower just to play a simple part in making this great event a success. And hopefully our part um, will continue to progress um, with the progression of this great conference and this great festival around the world throughout the year. Um, finally, um, I would like to thank my dear friend Lara Sawaya for, action, for actually giving us, the giving us the opportunity to be a sponsor of this festival uh, which carries a noble cause um, from the UAE to the rest of the world. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Thank you, Edward. We do appreciate it. Now, this good-looking guy here is the next one who's going to speak. His Excellency Ahmed al Kabasi. Sir, what are we going to talk about this morning? Press the button and go for it. Ashab al-Ma'ari, Ashab al-Sa'adah, Sayyidat wa Sa'adah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. في البداية أنقل لكم تحيات سمو الشيخ نهيا بن زايد آل نهيان رئيس مجلس أبو ظبي الرياضي والذي يتمنى للجميع التوفيق في هذا المحفل الدولي نحن في مجلس أبو ظبي الرياضي نفخر بالشراكة مع مهرجان الشيخ منصور بن زايد كما أن استراتيجيتنا في المجلس أن تكون أبو ظبي عاصمة عالمية للرياضة وشعار المهرجان اليوم هو عالم واحد ست قارات أبو ظبي عاصمة العالم أود أن أشكر سعادة السفير صقر ناصر الرئيسي على دعمه للمهرجان سواء كان للمؤتمر أو أي من السباقات الأخرى كما أود تقديم الشكر للمدير التنفيذي للمهرجان لارا صوايا على مجهوداتها في تحقيق رؤية المهرجان وفي الختام نتمنى التوفيق للجميع سواء في مخرجات المؤتمر والسباقات شكرا Now, none of us would be here without Emirates. And look at the girls. They never stop smiling. And whatever class you're in in Emirates, it's always first class all the way. And of course, they fly direct. Well, how many times have we got the big boss from Abu Dhabi, Nadim Lahad, who's a very, very good tennis player as well. How many times do we fly Dubai to Rome? I will not do marketing. It's three times. <laughs> <laughs> Your Excellency is, thank you, Derek, anyway. People always ask me, are you the sponsors of, of Sheikh Mansour Festival? Honestly, we do not like to use this word because it's not a matter of being a sponsor. We are part of the team. 
Emirates and Sheikh Mansour Festival, they have something in common. We have introduced the UAE through all, almost now since 1985, we introduced the, U the UAE to all the world. So yes, we cover the six continents. And now, looking at this beautiful crowd here, I can see this crowd only in the United Nations from different countries, from the six continents, and in the conference of His Highness Sheikh Mansour. Mm -hmm. He introduced not only UAE, of course, he introduced the culture of the Arab horses, and Abu Dhabi became the capital. Abu Dhabi will always be the capital that we love, the capital that runs the peace all over the world. I can say thank you for being here, of course. Thank you for flying Emirates now. Derek, if you can be happy now. <laughs> Lara is the soldier, is the fighter. You can call it whatever you like. Today, Abdullah called you dynamite and someone else called you golden. Me, I will tell you, you will always be the flower that will never fade. Oh, oh. Thank you. That's a good line, I must remember that one. <laughs> that is lovely, that. Thank you, very, very soon. I love it. Now, we're... No, no, Adnan, you've got to. This Adnan, of course, runs the racing in Abu Dhabi Endurance as well. And also, we've got to change to the date, haven't we? Just everybody knows for the final of the World Championships yeah. in Abu Dhabi. Assalamu alaikum. In the beginning, I'm going to thank you for your Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed, the Prime Minister of the United States, for the support of the United States for the United States and the United States and the Prime Minister. وفي البداية أشكر حضوركم وأتمنى التوفيق للجميع ومثل ما سألني هو بيكون إن شاء الله بداية الموسم في نادي أبو ظبي الفروسية في 6 نوفمبر لا 6 نوفمبر والبطولة بتكون في 13 نوفمبر شكرا شكرا نوفمبر 13 هذا هو الوقت أبسلوتي أمازين نعم <laughs> now, this good-looking fellow has a great name, Alessandro Cabella. He is the big boss of this hotel. So anything you don't like, not that there will be, but this is the man to go to. And it's great to have you here because this place is one of the greatest hotels in the world and all the great names. Stay here. Yeah, no pressure. Huh? No pressure. <laughs> Your, your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Rome Cavalieri World of Astoria. It's an immense pleasure and great honor for all of us to host this prestigious event, the World Arabian Horse Racing Conference at the Rome Cavalieri World of Astoria Hotels and Resorts. My team and I are really delighted uh, that our property has been chosen as a, the perfect venue for this uh, seventh edition of this great event. And we are indeed conscious of the importance that this event is bringing not only to the hotel, but to the city of Rome, the eternal city. The importance of this event and its participating guests can only ensure a further enrichment of the already established relationship with the Emirates. We would like really to thank uh, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nayan and of course the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates, His Excellency Sakir Nasser Al Raisi, for having chosen the Rome Calavalieri as their home for this uh, event. Of course a special thanks goes to Lara Sawaya for her support my position actually doesn't allow me to declare my love like before someone else. <laughs> but knowing that uh, you love the cherries, I can tell you, you will be always the cherry on our cake for this event. Oh, Thank you and welcome. <clears throat> I like this. I'm writing all these down. I'm going to. Thanks, guys. This is terrific. <laughs> 
This is going live. We're going live on Yes TV and around the world on the Sheikh Mansour Festival feed. It, it is incredible. I think people are all around the world. You've come from all around the world are watching this. And this guy is one of the big bosses of, of Yes TV and Abu Dhabi TV, and our thanks to him. Please welcome Yakub Al Sadi. Thank you. Thank you. Sayyidat wa Sada, Zumalai al Alamiyin al Azza, Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fil Bidaya Yusadna fi Abu Dhabi al Alam, Kama Yusadni Shaksiya and Nakun Mutawajidin Makum fi Hadha al Hadath, a Riyadi al Kabir, a Ladi Yumathil Hadathan, Riyadian, Mutafaridan, Baina Kul al Ahdath, a Riyadian Muktalifa, La Kul Hadha al Kalam, and قبيل المبالغة الكلامية أو المجاملة التي أحيانا تقتضيها الظروف بل أعني كل حرف وكلمة فيها ذلك أن هذا الحدث يقام بفكر وتنظيم وإعداد إماراتي كامل ذلك أن هذا الحدث بكل تفاصيله وأنشطته يعمل على تأكيد فكرة التواجد العربي في ميدان الفروسية بخصوصية ذلك أن هذا الحدث وما يتبعه من مهرجانات ومؤتمرات يرفع راية الحصان العربي ووجوده بكل جماله وقدرته وقوته ككيان قائم بذاته متفرد وهو ما يقدم لفكرة التواجد الإماراتي وقدرة على الريادة والخلق والتفاعل رافعا هذه الراية في كل أنحاء العالم هذا الحدث يمثل لنا نحن في أبو ظبي الإعلام وفي قناة ياس تحديدا قيمة خاصة بوصفنا شركاء أساسيين في تقديمه وعرضه وإيصاله للناس في كل مكان وهو مبعث اعتزاز من جانبنا الإخوة الأعزاء هذا الحدث على مر أحداثه برها ولا يزال على مكانته في الساحة المحلية لدوره الرائد ودعمه المتواصل لمسيرة الارتقاء والتطور بالحصان العربي وأحياء إرث الأجداد والأباء كما أكد مكانته العالمية بكل اقتدار وتميز أبو ظبي الإعلام وما تضمه من قنوات وإذاعات وصحف ومجلات تفخر بدعم أجندة مهرجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد الخيول العربية الأصيلة الحافل بالكثير من المسابقات والبطولات والفعاليات لا أميز حدثا عن آخر فكل حدث قيمة وكل حدث يحمل في مضمونه معنى بداية من الاسم وانتهاء بالحدث وهو ما نحرص على نقله عبر تغطية إعلامية شاملة تعمل على ترسيخ أهم معاني المهرجان وتفاعل المشاهدين معه مرة أخرى ومن هنا نجدد دعمنا الإعلامي وشراكتنا التي نعتز بها لمهرجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد للخيول العربية فقد أكد مهرجان الشيخ منصور بن زايد للخيول العربية الأصيلة دوره الرئيسي على الساحة المحلية من خلال جهده المتميز للارتقاء بهذه الرياضة النبيلة وهو ما كان يرافقه دوما متابعة وتغطية من قبلنا ساهمت إلى حد بعيد في نجاح مختلف هذه الفعاليات والمسابقات وعيا منا وإدراكا بأهمية هذه الرياضة والعمل على ترسيخ قواعدها في روح أبنائنا خاصة من الأجيال الجديدة زملائي الأفاضل لن أنهي كلمتي قبل أن أقدم لكم رقما مهما يصلح أن يكون عنوانا يوم غد هو أن قناة ياس عرضت وغطت مهرجان الشيخ منصور بن زايد في العام الماضي وحده 103 ساعات كاملة من البث والتغطية متتبعين الحدث وأنشطته في كل العالم مع كل التقدير للمهرجان أقدم تقديري أيضا للقائمين على التنظيم والإعداد وعلى رأسهم السيدة لارا الصوايا التي أراها قدرة تنظيمية تستحق كل تقدير واحترام متمنيا أن نقدم معا جهدا مستمرا لتأكيد هذا الحدث واستمرار شعلته منيرة دائما وتحية تقدير خاصة لسمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد آل نهيان الحارث الأول للأصول الإماراتية وفي مقدمتها ما يقدمه ويقوم به نحو الخيول العربية الأصيلة فهو الحصن الأول والأخير لهذا الكيان الرائع الجميل كل الأمنيات لكم وكل التوفيق للمهرجان السلام عليكم ورحمة الله
for a man behind the camera, you, you talk pretty well. <laughs> By the way, people are asking, where is Masood this week? And uh, poor Masood uh, arrived at the airport and then found that his visa had run out. So he's not here. So Masood, if you're watching, hello from Rome. And of course, it's great to be here because in your country, I remember you saying, Annalisa, you must come to Italy. You must come to Rome. We're here. Tell us more. Uh, Jimmy, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if speaking in English or French, because I'm very excited and uh, afraid to make a mistake. Oh, Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, better than us. Thank you so much. So welcome to Italy and welcome in Rome. I'm so proud and thanks to Sheikh Mansour and Aya Bin Zayed and Lara Savaya for her confidence, her trust in uh, our country. I know it's a very big event. I know there's too much work behind and from tomorrow and from start to today since till Sunday. So I'm glad and proud that all the people are here. Thank to all the breeder, all the owner, all the jockey and all the person who loves Arabian horses in race. Thank you, Andy. That was your English is better than ours, I tell you. It is good. Just look at everybody who's here today. It, it, it is lovely. Give us a wave as we, as we go past. These pictures are going live around the world. It's terrific. Some brilliant people. I love the ambassador's socks. I want a pair of socks like those. They're, they're brilliant. They're, they really are good. And I do apologize. Move back on the me. Sir, over to you. And thank you. Assalamu alaikum. First of all, I would like to thank you to be here today, and I'm glad to be here also. On behalf of Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority, I would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed and Her Highness Sheikh Fatma bin Zayed to give us the opportunity to be here and to be part of the conference. Um, I mean, if you look, I mean, years ago, years ago, Abu Dhabi is worldwide, is, I would say it is not big as a tourism attraction. But now for the time being, Abu Dhabi is pop. Abu Dhabi is one of the tourism and support city in the world. With these events, they, they keep Abu Dhabi on the map. For all the tourists, they kind of come up to come up to come over to Abu Dhabi and discover a lot of things, such as a cultural things, tourist plus support. Um, thanks for everybody to 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 continue supporting this kind of events for Abu Dhabi. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Abu Dhabi is certainly a fast and furious. Place. Now, let's get back to the horses, and please welcome <laughs> Danilo DiCaprio. You haven't got a brother who's an actor. Huh? Yeah, I thought he looks just like you. He does. Danilo, over to you. Thanks, Derek. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of uh, Hippo Group Roma Capanelli, it's uh, an honor, my, the great honor, to have the IFA race in Capanelli Racecourse. It's uh, an honor because uh, this year, the Italy is the first year that became the member of IFA. Our company organized uh, since 12 years uh, the Arabian Horses in Capanelle with the support of the United Arab Emirates Company, but without uh, the auspices of an international federation. So um, we hope uh, Sunday, so I'm sure the Sunday uh, will be uh, the beginning of the strength relationship with my company, the Italy, and the IFAR races. In particular, for the green importance in Italy, the Arabian horses uh, races. So, um, from uh, uh, Abu Dhabi, the, the capital of the United Arab Emirates, uh, to Rome, the capital of uh, Italy, the way was not easy. And so, for this reason, I... I'd like to a warm welcome and, uh, and a special thanks to Lara to permit this conference 
and the races in Cabanelle. So uh, we wait you in Cabanelle Sunday uh, during um, a big and important day of race. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. You know, the, the, the breeding of horses is so important, and SM is here because this conference is going to hopefully make purebred Arabians faster, fitter, stronger, hopefully. and better. Hopefully. Tell us more. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sahab al-Ma'ali wa al-Sahad al-Diyuf al-Karam. Habba ashkar Sayyidi ismu al-Sheikh Mansoor bin Zayed. Al-Had al-Maharajan al-Hafil. Nahin ka jamiyyat imarat khul al-Arabiyya. نطلع إلى حوار ومناقشات مثمرة في كل تشكيلة المحاور نحن نطلع للتحديد أفضل للتحديات الموجودة بما يخدم رياضات سباق الخيل ونتمنى أن يكون في حلول أفضل لكل التحديات ونتمنى التوفيق للجميع شكرا Two to go. One at this end, one at the other end. Let's go back to Italy. We're going to be drawing the horses and the jockeys very soon. Marco Oppo, tell us more. Okay. Welcome in Italy and welcome in Rome. I am the racing director of Rome Capanelle race course. I don't have a famous brother, but like, like Mr. DiCaprio, but my sister is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Italy is not famous only for food and fashion, but for horses too. Rome wrote the history of the thoroughbred racing, and now is the moment to write an important page of the history of Arab horse. We want to support the, Arab, the Arabian horse racing, and the help of Sheikh Mansour is very important for this. We made a big effort to organize our first big event of this amazing festival. We believe that on Sunday, you will have an unforgettable day. Thank you. And one final. This end, you are worth waiting for, always worth waiting for. Khalid, final words. From you. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Saadat Sagar Raisi, Safir, Dawlat al Imarat al Arabiya al Mutahida in Italy, Sahab al Saada, Sayyidat al Saada al Hadur, Mukafa Tarja al Alam. Tahir Tayyibo Bad. Maastim Rana Jahat Maharajan Samu Sheikh Mansur bin Zayd al Alami, Al Khul Arabiya al Asila, A Charaf and Uncle Lakum Tahiyat Maali Sheikh al Hayyan bin Mbaraka al Hayyan, Wazir al Thakafa and Tenmit al Mushtama, Raisi al Hayyan Amal Raid Shabab or Yada. وإشادة معاليه لما وصل إليه مهرجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد آن هيان نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء وزير شؤون الرئاسة العالم الخيول العربية الأصيلة خلال سنوات قليلة بإنجازات كبيرة ولولا الدعم الكبير من قبل سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد آن هيان للملاك والمدربين والخيول العربية بشكل عام وخلق الحوافز من خلال جوائز عالمية وعقد المؤتمرات العلمية لما لمسنا هذا الأثر العالمي الإيجابي واستمراريته وتطوره السريع فكل الشكر لسموه على هذه الرؤية الثاقبة والدعم اللا محدود وشكري وتقديري ونصول لسمو الشيخ فاطمة بنت مبارك أم الإمارات أم العالم على دعمها اللا محدود لرياضة السيدات على نطاق العالم وفي الختام الشكر كذلك للداعمين والشركاء والرعاء ووسائل الإعلام المختلفة وقناة ياس الرياضية بشكل خاص على الحضور المتميز الدائم ل فعاليات مهرجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد والإدارة الاحترافية لسعادة رأي لارا صوايا المدير التنفيذي للمهرجان مشكلين أسرة واحدة في سبيل تحقيق رؤية سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد آن هيان نحو الارتقاء برياضة الخيل العربي محليا وأقليميا وعالميا وشكرا للجميع وتمنياتي لكم بالتوفيق في المؤتمر العالمي مشكرا <تصفيق> It's amazing. He did that off his iPhone. It's terrific, that. Well done. Thank you. Good job it didn't die up. <laughs> That's right. Hello. Well, that is basically it. But we've got something to do now, haven't we, for the races yes. Before on Sunday. we do the draws, uh, first, 
uh, we need just to say the name of the race day. The name of the race day at Capanelli is the Emirates Day. Under the directives of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed and Nahyan, that day will hold the Emirates Day, the UAE flag, and of course, Abu Dhabi, the capital of the world for Arabian racing. So that day in particular is named the Emirates Day. It holds three races of Arabian horses, two world championships, one for apprentices and the other for ladies in the name of our mother of the world, Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak. As long, as well as the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan and Nahyan Cup, which is a listed cup, and uh, for saying the trust of His Excellency Sa'ra Raise, who we say thanks from last year. Last year, only Italy joined the IFAR. And today, Italy is hosting the biggest world conference for Arabian racing and hosting the three biggest races in the world for Arabian racing. So a big thanks goes to the hard work of Annalisa and Anike and the Ministry of Agriculture of Italy <coughs> because they've done a great job. They have. And of course, Capanelli. Danilo and Marco, who is going to do the best out of this event. Uh, for your surprise day, we will be having a family day. So you will have from His Highness Sheikh Mansour Ben Zayed Festival. Natalie will be waiting for you, Marco and Danilo, because she has to go to the uh, Capanelli. We will have uh, activities for the children on that particular day because His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed and Nahyan only believes in the family. And this is the family of His Highness Sheikh Mansour festival in Kapanelli on Sunday. So even the children are more than welcome to come to the races and enjoy a very big day because they will be also sharing that day in particularly with all of you because I think Capanelli will be for the first time hosting 500 guests, 81 countries, six <laughs> continents. Thank you. Well done. It is brilliant. Okay, guys. Now, Lara, what have we got? Should we do the ladies' race first? Uh, no, before. Should I have to tell you something. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Now, she always. Every single person has to hang to his badge. Who didn't get a badge has to have a badge who doesn't get a badge cannot come to the conference tomorrow. So you've got a badge. Yes, where's your badge? They can oh. write you one. Okay, but Don't it's not worry. for the press conference today. It's for the world conference tomorrow. I'm just saying that because there will be security on the doors to stop anyone coming in without a badge. I thought you were going to say, we'll put all the badges in a box and pick one out and give them a big prize. No, no, no. We'll keep it uh, a big prize. We keep it later. Oh, no. later, 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 later. Okay. For tonight, is very strict. For the ladies, you need to abide by the rules of the Vatican. No short dresses. No V-necks. And especially comfortable shoes. Because all of you, you will be enjoying the Gallery Museum of the Vatican, which is only open for Sheikh Mansour Festival that night. You That's know that? fantastic. It is incredible. Yes. It's amazing. It's super. At 6 p.m., Everyone must be there. Whoever has the car has to know that from 6 to 6.20, the doors of the Vatican will be open. The one who's not wearing his badge will not be inside. That's worth knowing. Due to okay. security reasons. These are the badges. Yeah. 
So please, if you do not have a badge, just get a badge. Because the badges for that particular night is limited to 300 guests. The 300 guests will enter at 6.30 to the museum. There will be guides. Guides speaking English and French. They will guide all of us and they will show you the most beautiful, significant gallery and museum of the Vatican world. Okay? Wow. Wow, you can't buy that. <laughs> and for the first time, we got approval from the Vatican to host a cocktail and a dinner at the gallery. Inside the Vatican? There will be the gallery waiting for you and the cocktail in the most beautiful courtyard and garden. Wow. And over you will see the UAE flag for the first time in the Vatican. That is incredible. For the rest of the week, tomorrow, after tomorrow, just please hang to your badges, because tomorrow you will be at Montebello. Montebello is a army hippodrome. So you have to have the badges, otherwise the army will not let us in. Right, okay. <laughs> so you will be having fun. You will be, thanks to uh, Colonel Massimo, the head chief of the cavalry army of the military army of the uh, Capanelli, uh, no, sorry, Montebello. Mm. He, you will see a show for 25 minutes. A very beautiful show only for you, from the military army. Wonderful. And what else? Oh, la la. It's great, this. <laughs> Love it. On the 27th, yes. we have a very beautiful dinner at a very beautiful palace. Yes. It's Villa Miani. If you see the Garden of the Hilton, it's just connecting to the beautiful palace of the Villa Miani. So you can go walking from the Hilton, from the Waldorf Astoria Roma Cavalleri to the uh, gate of Villa Miani. So you don't need a bus, guys. Okay? Right. For 27. Follow Papa, he walks a lot, yes. okay? He'll show you the way, he's the guy. <laughs> and Ahmed Saeed also. Yeah, of course, of course, absolutely. <laughs> On 28, your badges are a must. Uh, uh, really. It's the most beautiful park of Rome. Closed, thanks to His Excellency Sa'ra Raise, and to Roma Mayor, the beautiful green pincho will only be for you. And you will only be awarded Roma behind you. And this is the gift of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed initiatives to have everyone remember Roma in the best way. You will not see any banner behind any uh, on the stage. You will just see all Rome and you on the stage. Thank you. Ooh, wow. So please, really, it's very important. The men today all suits. 
shoes, comfortable shoes, because you need to enjoy the galleries. So it will be walking in the galleries. So please do abide, all of you, by the rules, as uh, it's important, because the Zion Sheikh Mansour Festival always loves rules and abides by the rules. We really need to thank Ifar, Samuel Bainain, and all IFAR members, Hani, especially my friend Hani, all the members who have uh, come for the conference in order to attend the meeting of IFAR, the registry with Val Bonti, and of course with uh, Graham Walcroft, he will be having the handicappers, mm -hmm. uh, Sami leading the executive committee, and uh, this is courtesy of Sheikh Mansour Festival, who is always supporting the International Federation of Arabian Horse Racing Authorities. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> On the 27th morning, oh, yes. we need also uh, to thank all IFAHRA members, the International Federation of Horse Racing Academies, which we will be hosting the General Assembly in Rome. The General Assembly will be conducted at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on the 27th, and 10.30 will be all at the conference, sharing with you the best panels. Thanks to all the panelists, the speakers that are here today, the moderators, thanks to you, Tomo, Gary Capwell, Philip Brennan, Pat Buckley, and of course, Faisal Rahmani, for conducting all the things. Yes, Faisal will be conducting the racing and Big training. Round of applause. Big round of applause. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Yaoub Saadi, who uh, is going to join you, Derek Thompson, in the panel of the media. Absolutely. It's with brilliant. Philip, who will see what he will be uh, challenging you with questions. No? It's going to be good. And then yes. you're going to do the workshop at the very end, yes, aren't you? Yes, the workshop is. It's you. And Lara. <laughs> well, it's Lara and Lara, but I'll be there as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Tom. So oh, now we will go for the draws, please. Draw, guys, here we go. Okay. okay we'll start with the apprentice. Okay, we'll start with the uh, apprentice. Can you have a paper to write the horse with the jockeys and the gates, please, for your own? And if the press, our press, the UAE press, and all the international press that are here today, if we can have them writing down the please do. draw. Guys, please. you'll see it at the back of your race card. These are the apprentices we're going to do this first. Is the horses. Then the ladies. So we've put them into three different bowls. If you can't see at the back, we've got bowls here with 10 horses, 10 Ambassador jockeys. Ambassador will be doing all. Names. Yes, so, sir. And uh, Dr. and Sammy. Dr. No, and no, Sam. No, you start by here. So we'll do. Horse first or jockey first? Let's see what comes out. Is it a horse? It's a very good question, and we're about to find out. It is. This is a horse. No, you have to turn. It is Erlo di Chia. Erlo di Chia. Guys, would you come and stand with... Yes, can you respond? Erlo di Chia. Erlo di Chia. That's what I thought. Yes. Erlo okay, di Chia. give me the paper? Erlo di Chia. Who is going to ride... Erlo de Gia. Which apprentice will ride Erlo de Gia? We will have the country and the name. And it is. Ah, it is. From France, Adrian Moreau. Is Adrian Moreau here from France today? No. Okay. Adrian Moreau from France. And this guy is very good. He has ridden 30 eight winners, and is one of the top apprentices in France. And the draw, Sammy. It's a very good question. Is it nine or six? It is nine. It's nine. Well done, or as they say in France, so, neuf. For the camera. Who is the next horse to come out? It is. And number nine. That's it. We're just doing it. This shows you exactly everything is above board. Your Excellency, would you please pick the next horse? The next horse in the apprentice race is. 
It is Uragano di Gia. Uragano di Gia. Yeah, that's what I said. And the jockey who will ride is Dr. Abdullah. From Morocco, Omar Lakjal, one of the top apprentices. He has had 44 winners. Omar Lakjal. And what stall, Sammy? Two. Two. He'll be coming out of stall two. Stall two for the Moroccan. Let's move on to the next one. Sir, would you pick the horse? Third horse of the ten. The third horse of the ten in the apprentice is. It is. <laughs> Thanks, big fella. Ult Zana. Ult Zana. Ult yes, Zana. that's it. Ult yes, Zana. And the jockey is? Jordan Childs. Jordan Childs, Australia. Jordan Childs, are you here today? Jordan, where are you? Come on, come and join us. Give him a big round of applause. It's Jordan Childs from Australia. <laughs> Jordan, great to have you here. Now tell us about yourself. How old, how many winners and whereabouts are you from? Um, yeah, my name is Jordan Childs. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I'm 20 years old. I've ridden a number of 181 winners um, and feel very privileged and honoured to be here. I was just going to say, what's it like for a young man to travel on Emirates around the world and to be here at the Sheikh Mansour Festival, the World Racing Conference? Yeah, it's a great feel. I have to thank all the sponsors and everyone who puts it together. Um, it's a great opportunity for me and the other apprentices from around the world to come here and represent our countries. Good, to, good luck to you, and I love the way you talk. Brandon, good luck on Sunday. He is here. And by the way, you're in stall six. Stall six, that is good. Any of the journalists want to talk to any of the jockeys later on, please do. Lovely, lovely young man, and we wish him all the best. The next horse is... <laughs> Uniga Dorada. Uniga Dorada. Uniga Dorada. That's right, that's what I said. <laughs> and the jockey is... Representing Canada, we have Brandon Duchesne. Brandon Duchesne, is Brandon here? Brandon, where are you? Are you here? He's not here, He's not here as yet, but thank you. Brandon is a super lad. We know him well. And can he win on Sunday? And he's in gate three. Thank you, Sammy. Absolutely, gate or stall. Well done, Sammy. And the next horse is, can Tomo pronounce this one? Ah, this is Ugi di Galupa. Sorry? Yes? I, I can read. Uno di... Oh, sorry. Ugi di Galupa. It's uh, Urge di Gura. Urge. Urge. Yes, Urge di Galura. That's okay. right. That's right. And the horse and uh, the jockey is. South Korea, John Gi John will be riding this. He's uh, ridden 22 winners. Comes from Seoul. And he's coming out of stall number four. Let's pick the next horse. Halfway through the apprentice race, then it's the ladies. Ah, oh, no worry. Triade. 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 And, <laughs> and the jockey is. Italy. Ah, representing Italy. It is Gabriella Canarella. Gabriella Can And she'll be coming out of lucky stool number seven. So that is the local girl. Gabriella, she's ridden 14 winners. Can she win for Italia? It's a what? A girl. Can the, the, there are two girls and eight boys in the apprentices. And the next horse, sir, is Usayem. Usayem. Usaim. Usaim. And the jockey and the country Usaim. is. Yeah. Usaim. Yeah. Representing yes. Argentina, Lucas Berticelli, one of the most experienced jockeys in the race. 94 winners for anybody coming out of stall five. Stall five. Well done, Sammy. And the next horse. We haven't got many left. Three to go. The next horse is Macbar de Sibul. Yes, I got that one right. And the jockey is... Oh. Representing Belgium. Zoe van der Belde, representing Belgium. She has ridden eight winners. She is an apprentice jockey. 
She's one of the two girls. And she will be coming out of stall 10. That's on the outside. Stall 10. Two to go. Usini. The horse is called Usini. I'm getting good at this. And the jockey is. Ah, oh, Great Britain, Gemma Tutti. Well done. I used to ride against her dad. 33, and she'll be coming out of stall one on the inside for the British girl. And the last one is. <laughs> it's a good one, this. Uno di galura. Uno. Di... Uno. 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 That's what I said. And the jockey is. It is Saif al Balushi from Oman, who has ridden 13 winners. By the way, we've got the lieutenant from the Oman Cavalry, who performed in front of Her Majesty the Queen last week at Windsor. And good to see him here. Absolutely outstanding. And stall eight. Eight. So there you have it. That is the draw for the apprentices. Now, can we do... Now, could we have the ladies now? This is for the lady jockeys. And then we will be going to have some lunch and some cool, refreshing drinks because it's a wee bit warm in here. The AC is turned up as high as we can, but it is still bright with the TV lights. But it's good to see you here, Pamela. Tomo's moving along with the camera following me. And then we turn around and move back. And by the way, can we say these Emirates girls, they haven't stopped smiling. And you are incredible. Absolutely. And it's very hot up there, isn't it? Right, here we go. Same again. Now, this is for the ladies. Remember, the winner qualifies for the World Championship in Abu Dhabi on November the 13th. November the 13th. So that is it. So this is the final job we have to do. Sir, would you pick the first horse in the Ladies' World Championship Italian round? Sibelina. Sibelina. Sibilina. That's right, Sibilina. And the jockey is? I am Lisa ah, Lisa O'Neill from Ireland, and she'll be coming out of stall six. Stall six for Lisa O'Neill. She's a very, very good jockey, 21 winners. And the next horse in the ladies' championship is? Oh, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, I got that one right. Yes, Mona Lisa. Really right. Hey, that should finish in the frame. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mona Lisa is a, is, is a horse from... The, yes. Yeah. Uh, in Napoleon, absolutely. We are. The, I was just going to say that. I was <laughs> oh. Written by Jessica Marcialis from Italy. She, and if she, she'll be coming out of stall five. And if she wins on Sunday, that will be her 100th career win. Can she do it on the Mona Lisa? Wow, pretty as a picture. Right, and the next one is Mirko. 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 Mi Mirko. And the jockey is... Oh, Switzerland, the reigning world champion, Astrid Wilschläger, the lady who won the world championship in Abu Dhabi last month. And also professional, outstanding. And she'll be coming out of stall three. I was just going to ask you that, Sammy. And the next horse is... <laughs> oh, no, this means it's a biggie. Stand by, here we go. I'm ready. Go for it. Spicy, spicy. Oh, I like it. Tabasco. <laughs> Tabasco, yes? Yes. We got... Thank you. And the horse, uh, the jockey is... Representing Australia, Cecily Eaton, professional jockey. She's written over 200 winners, one of the top girls from Down Under. By the way, we hope yeah. Michelle Payne is okay. The late, and gate okay. four, gate four. Michelle Payne had a very bad fall on Sunday in Australia. She underwent surgery yesterday. Uh, she's okay, but she had to have surgery. So Michelle Payne, the lady who won the Melbourne Cup. We hope she is all right. Shh. That is from the conference. Uh, to all the uh, supporters of ladies around the world, but Michelle Payne, the number one jock down under, beat all the men in the Melbourne Cup. Nobody's ever done that. Terrible fall on Sunday night. There was about five went down, bang. She got up, but then they had to take her to hospital. Michelle, I hope you're okay, because we're hoping to see you in Europe very soon. Okay. 
Next horse is. Oh, I've got this. Turiga. 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 Oh, I got that one right. And the jockey. Representing South Korea, Lee Kun Ju. She has ridden 27 winners. She comes from Seoul, South Korea. And number gate one. Good draw on the inside. Gate one. Halfway through. Yes? Would you like to say something? Just check. That was gate one, wasn't it? Um, it was, and it was gate four earlier on, wasn't it? He, yes, it was gate four. Thank you so much. You are good. We flew back the other day from the, the races. He's a top man, absolute top man. The next horse is, the next horse is, Tintu de Galura. Tintu de Galura. Tintu. That's, that's what I said. I, yeah, I'm all right. Okay. <laughs> and the jockey is. Yes, he have. Representing Poland, it is Anna Gill, who's ridden nine winners, comes from Warsaw, and she'll be coming at a stall two. two. Stall two. And the next one. Who have we got this time? Ah, we know it well. Tiffany. Tiffany. Yes. She's a real diamond, this horse. And who's going to ride Tiffany? Representing Denmark, it is Ricky Bay Torf. That is a great name. Written six winners. Ricky Bay Torf. Rice and stall number seven. Could it be lucky? Number seven. So we're nearly at the end. And this one, ah, I've got this one. Quadrofolio. Quadrofolio. Yes. And the jockey is. Representing which country? A representing Oman. I think she might be here today. Is Fatma Almanji here today representing Oman? Not yet. Not yet. But we have the guys from Oman. There they are in the third row back. Here, they just turn around. Guys, give us a wave for if, you're, if you've come from Oman. You have. Come on. That's <laughs> it. And good to see you. Well. And, and the second ride from Oman gets number eight. Isn't that incredible? It could be lucky. You could be. Or you could finish eighth. And how many have we got to it? Two to go. Sol di Chia. Sol di Chia. Sole. Sole. Sole di Chia. Sun. The son. The son of Kia. The son. As in daughter or son as, as in? Son. Sole. Sole. That's what I, I knew that. I was just telling everyone. And the jockey is. From which country? Morocco. Morocco. Representing Ah, Bushra Mamoul. She's had two winners. She's really good, this girl. Representing Morocco will be coming out of stall 10. Stall 10 on the outside. And the last one is <laughs> Tercilia. 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 That's right. And the jockey is. From Germany, Sylvia Paddinson. She's a sales manager and has ridden 12 winners. And be coming out of stall. Number nine. Stall nine. Well, there you are. We've done the draw. Now the uh, Jockey Club of Italy are going to put everything together. Two races, live on Sunday. And Lara, this is great. As Sheikh Mansur and Sheikh Afanim has said, it's going to be a family day. Yes. It's going to be so much to look forward to. And the winners will go to Abu Dhabi. Of course. Can we have silence, please, a bit? Shh. There is a point that uh, the Vatican raised. You cannot take cameras with you. No cameras is allowed at all with anyone. You can use your phones. And there is an official photographer of the Vatican who is officially will be directed by us who, how, what to do with photos and how to take the photos. And then uh, make sure because they will take your cameras. So please, no cameras at all with anyone. And what Only time use your telephones. Yes. And uh, I think you should go by the desk. Maybe the buses will leave because there's a bus from the Marriott. And of course, there's buses from here that will leave uh, to the Vatican. I think around maybe 5 or 5.15. So we are there at 6 o'clock on the doors. So five please do not forget your badges. Ladies, you know what to dress up. And of course, uh, please do not get at all your cameras. 
because this is the rules and uh, we have to abide by it. We always do. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, can we say thank you to His Excellency for coming and all our guests today. It's been a lovely, lovely press conference. That means the World Conference is off and running. Can we have a great big round of applause for all of us? We're live here in Rome. Stay with us. <laughs>